بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى علي وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أهبت في الله The creator of the heavens and earth, Allah Tabarak Ta'ala, calls us to the worship of Him and Him alone. Tawheed, Khalis, pure Tawheed. And if we were to give Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala the Haq, His Haq, His right, then that means we would be active in engaging in seeking knowledge of his Tawheed and actualizing it by practicing Tawheed, Tawheed al-Ibadah, worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. In the hadith of Nabi and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the hadith of Mu'adh radiyallahu ta'ala an, in which he was riding with the Prophet ﷺ. We mentioned this hadith countless times, but the reminder reminds the believer. In which he was riding on this donkey with Mu'adh. And he said, Ya Mu'adh, Atadri ma haqullah al-ibadi wa ma haqal ibadi Allah. O Mu'adh, do you know the right of Allah upon his servant and the right of the servant upon Allah? He said, Allah wa Rasuluhu a'lam. He said, Allah and his messenger know best. Allah and his messenger know best. And then the Prophet ﷺ said, Haq Allah ibadi an ya'buduhu wa la yushriku bihi shayin. The right of Allah upon his servant is that he worships him alone and does not associate partners with him. So, Tawheed, worshiping Allah Ta'ala, really understanding Tawheed and not being deceived by the Mukhalifin. Mukhalifin fi da'wal Allah. Those people who differ with the pure monotheistic call of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. What am I talking about? I'm talking about people and there are whole movements and whole sects that hold their scholars to such a high level of reverence that not only do they give them this sainthood, but they revere them, they adore them, they worship them. Because when their sheikh begins to cease worshiping at Allah, because they say that, you know, that they believe that they have reached a certain degree of worship and certainty that they no longer worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they no longer have to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they have reached a level of kufr. They've not actually reached, they've descended. They've degraded the call to Tawheed, pure monotheism, under the guise of Islam, but instead went to shirk because they ceased to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they begin to make everything Allah prohibits as something lawful for them, for their marid, for their sheikh, for their wali. And you will never find a true awliya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who's given up ibadah, no matter, how, even if they call and claim that their knowledge is the hidden knowledge, the secret knowledge, the, the real knowledge, the haq, that they've reached the haq. In fact, they've reached the batil. They've reached the batil. They've reached total falsehood because they begin to call to the worship of themselves, Tagut, 
and the call to the worship of their idols, which is their olia. And there is no difference, regardless, even if they say, La ilaha illallah, wa anna Muhammad rasulullah, between them and some of the most severe mushriks, because they violate the haqq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and have given that worship to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They have begun to worship themselves and worship their own desires and to seek praise and adoration of the people to such an extent that they think that the lawful thing, the, the unlawful things are now lawful for them. They think that now it is permissible for them to do zina and shirk and that they won't be held accountable because some of them believe that they are Allah or that Allah is one with the creation or that they have now reached a level to where their ibadah is so sure that they claim a type of divinity for themselves. That is a destructive Aqidah, a destructive creed. It violates the haqq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi jami'an wa tawheed. It violates the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every way, in every aspect of tawheed and worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is why Ahlul Sunnah is vigilant in calling the people to tawheed and to call the people away from shirk and warning against shirk because shirk is real and shirk becomes evident even if the people claim tawheed so beware beware ahabatafillah of any violations in the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and feel sorrow for your sins and never think that you've reached a level or your shaykh or because someone else said Sheikh so and so and Wali so and so have reached such and such level that they can do such and such that they're no longer responsible for ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they are one with Allah tabarak wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one with the creation all of the shirkiyat wa kufriyat are gross violations of the rights of your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala so fear Allah tabarak wa ta'ala as much as you can and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ilm wa thiq wa basira. And may Allah bless us all and grant us all ilm wa thiq fi deen. And bless us to have tawheed khalis to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a manner that suits His Majesty and how He, tabarak wa ta'ala, wants to be worshipped and wants to be feared. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.